everyone so it's been a long time i haven't done a youtube reading so i thought i'll do some zodiac sign uh, videos like messages for um not each zodiac since i don't have that many uh, followers yet i thought i'll do it like uh, like water signs and earth sign air signs etc etc um, so there will be four videos uploaded for the sun, moon, and rising sign. So you can check the other videos uh, as I'll um, record and post them. Uh, and yeah, I'll try to look at what messages you need to hear. And the time... Um, I'll try to do a messages for the next three weeks um and not like you know like a reading for a year i'll see like mostly for the next three weeks uh reading um so yeah i'll start with the water signs uh first since i am a water sign as well um so yeah by the way this is just um the candle wax from the last time i did the video and it never got away so yeah um this is a clean one i'm not dirty so yeah let's start with my water sign um i have a new deck as well which i'm very excited to um pull out some for you okay so my cancer pisces and scorpio let's see what messages um you need to hear for the next three weeks from um when i'm actually filming this okay so this is um not um timeless a timeless reading so cancer pisces scorpio what messages is there for my water sign for the next three weeks spirit water signs Messages for the next three weeks. That's too many. So next three week water signs. What do um, they need to hear? Oh, that's too many. Oh my god. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and let me know in the comments if you like this uh, format, and if you want me to do more uh, zodiac sign reading. Okay. Underneath, we have the page of wands. Two of Wands in reverse, the Strength card in reverse, and the Four of Swords. Um, stop overthinking. <laughs> uh, dear Water Sign, stop overthinking about not... Like, I feel like... Oh my god, my god this is totally for me. Um, since I'm a Cancer as well. Uh, anyway. Um, so, um, sorry. Uh, I got cut out. Anyway so stop overthinking there is a project that you've been very 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 dormant about this is something that i feel like maybe you started um march i hear maybe february like not long ago uh, maybe it's been something that you had in your mind before like for a long time and then you kind of started it around like uh, the beginning of beginning of the year and then you kind of i don't know it was good and then you kind of left it out for some reason and i feel it's mostly because of fear and anxiety uh, maybe you're still continuing i'm i'm not really sure um because i feel like there's many different way that i could interpret uh, this so apply it as it fits uh, of course but there's something that you've been you haven't been putting your best, I'll say. Um, it's not that you haven't been working on it, maybe for some, but there's something lacking. It's like you know it. You know that you're not giving your 100%, uh, 
or your like thousand percent something that you could i feel like you know that you can do it better and you could act you could actually work a lot on it but it's like you don't have enough confidence um in whatever this is for some reason i feel like it's linked to some fear uh lack of confidence anxiety maybe there's some like uh, maybe mental illness for some um but the, it's like you've been very dormant on it on this project and it's like you could be um it's like you could wait yes okay we have the eight of wands underneath it's like you could go really fast and i feel like you know it <laughs> like you know you could like achieve it very fast like it's done like i don't know like in a week in a day or depends on what you're working on and yet you're procrastinating uh, because of yeah because of fear it's all about fear yes it's like you you've been very defensive about it for some reason uh, maybe because of some defense mechanism and or maybe you fear of failing or oh my god i i even hear like um how do you uh oh my god i forgot what's the word you know people who are multi-talented a uh, multi-talented it's like you have many things that you want to do uh, maybe different things and you kind of get uh, lost uh, y like you lost you lose your focus um, from what's actually very important like the main project is kind of left behind because you uh, I hear like you kind of find an excuse uh, I'm not trying to trigger anybody but I'm trying to <laughs> use the words that I have right now um, it's like you find an excuse of not continuing this or n or of not putting yourself out there because you kind of find a new, I don't know, a new things to do, right? Um, it's like you've been working on this for a long time, you've been wishing on this for a long time, you have the tools to actually publish it or finish it, and it's like, oh, but I don't know, I have school, or oh, but I have this book that I need to read, oh, I have uh, I don't know to run errands and stuff like this it's like weeks go by months go by because you always try to find to put the priorities in other things that is not as important as this or maybe it is but it's not it's like you could actually find the time to work on this but you are not um yes and, and it's like the message for you is like can you please finally start these things or uh, finish this project because this is about to get really fast and I feel like if you don't like I'm not trying to scare you but it's almost giving me if you n are not trying to like start the engine now you may be so defensive for such a long period of time that it's about not about to get worse like because I feel like this opportunity will always be open for you but it's almost a warning that you yourself can actually not fail it but like stress yourself um uh, let me give you an example um for example like for the project it's like you procrastinate on it because of other things like i said and the more you wait um the more you'll be stressed about it because you you know you have been putting it on the bur uh, on the back burner and therefore time goes on and now you're even more stressed about it for starting it like you feel even um, more of a quote-unquote failure because you could have started earlier but you haven't and it's like the opportunity is still there for you but um, for your own sake and I think you'll be quite happier if it's manifested er, um, early uh, this um, whatever this is and it can manifest early if you start um, putting the effort effort efforts towards it um, so yeah um, yeah that's definitely the message for the next three weeks let me pull out some you know what, I have the Rider Way Tarot here, so let me just get some, I don't know, other messages for the next three weeks, if there's any other messages, and then I'll pull out the, uh, some Oracle cards for you. So, for my water sign, 
any other messages on my water sign sun moon or rising oh wait okay there's four so we got the eight of wands in reverse wait what this one was first temperance yes hundred percent okay uh, uh, um, uh, uh, uh. Uh, so this is the this second message that I'm hearing. It's for kind of the same reason, but it's mostly broad uh, in terms of you. Um, not about a project, but the project is included in this uh, message, which is basically um, th there is, it's like, how can I say this? Um, like your spirit guides, they are here like, hey, um, I think although you need to finish this and maybe start whatever, um, it's like you are not in the right mentality or energy uh, and that's why you can't basically, like that's why you stop yourself from uh, manifesting what you wish to have. It's like um, there is a slowing down uh, in your progress because of the way that you are basically um, going around. I don't know how to say that, like uh, how you basically walk through your day, how you schedule your day. There's something about um, the way you work on things, the way you take things the way you think about uh, s like things <laughs> um, and there is a need for you to balance this out um, I think spirit is asking you to be less so controlling um, I feel like the fear is based on the lack of control or you feel like you need to know every f like freaking step uh, it's like almost to a point where it's like um, like you know to you need to know every detail of what the next step is uh so that you don't fail like it's almost like you're scared of um missing on something like it's giving me perfectionism but in a bad way because i mean perfectionism is based on f uh, fear it comes from fear because of fear of not of missing something or any details um, there's a difference between paying attention to details and being a perfectionist. And I feel like in your case, there's a lot of, um, uh, yes, like maybe perfectionism, but it's, I don't know if you're actually doing anything, um, not trying to diminish you in any way. Um, but it's like your spirit guys are here, like, can you please try to take it like, um, kind of like uh, how, how, like uh, go with the flow basically that's the word with the full card here it's like stop worrying about what's your next step here be like the fool like be okay with the fact that you are still learning you are beginning something you you are not an expert on this like you of course not like nobody is an expert unless they did it like a thousand times the same things right and i feel like whatever this is this is something quite new like i'm not not new maybe for some not new in a way where it's like a new um how do you say like it's the idea came like uh like right now, you know, I, I see it more like um, new in the way that you're not totally experienced in whatever will unfold uh, from this. It's like maybe you're quite familiar with it, but that doesn't mean that you're an expert uh, in the situation. Like, uh, I don't know, you could be studying art for such a long time. And then once it's about like, uh, I don't know, exposing your art, like uh, being trying to sell your art, trying to do many different things, create a, I don't know, a clothing brand. Those things are maybe things that you are not, um, like you're familiar about the topic, but you don't know. You see what I'm trying to say? I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. So uh, therefore your spirit guards are trying to tell you, you need to balance your thought and your actions and also your feelings. I think they are asking you for you to be a little bit more uh, stoic. Um, but also keeping that um, 
openness to a uh, new newness like a uh, kind of like a child um not being naive you know how uh, i'm trying to explain it i hope you understand it's like not being naive but you are like happy to understand more happy to discover more things instead of being like okay i need to do this this happened this person talked to me i need to, how do i ha, google how do i talk how do i respond to somebody it's like no stop just be just flow whatever will come come just finish the things don't stress about it um don't overwhelm it overwhelm yourself in your head with scenarios when you haven't even done the first step you know what i mean um yeah it's like i also feel um this project or whatever um your situation is um i heard the word i'm trying to wait um i'm hearing have you forgot uh why you started this i uh, yeah that's kind of oh wait i'm trying to channel it it's like have you forgot why you have started this the reason why you have started this was from your heart it wasn't because of maybe it was um there was a second reason which was financial gain but it's like a second it it wasn't the main thing you didn't create or wanted to create this project or started this project because of only about money right um i'm hearing like you try to remember uh try to feel again that emotion that you have been feeling when you just think about this project when you think about um what it is i'm i'm <laughs> like i have um goosebump right now but it's like you wanted to start this because you actually believe in it i don't know what it is if you wanted to create an object for example like a product it's like you truly wanted to create this for from your pure creativity and imagination and heart and just because you like it and you believe in it and the money was secondary so please try to go back to that emotions because that will actually help you to go back to this um openness to just be being inspired again to finish this project <sighs> Mm -hmm. we have the knight of pentacle in reverse the uh, ten of cups in reverse and judgment in reverse yes it's like yeah uh, i'm i'm repeating myself i'm sorry but it's like you need to uh, call yourself out and try to uh, understand why do you act like this try to every time you have these blockages try to have that um to basically call it out like when your body for example your body wants to do things but your whole mind and i don't know like uh, your fear controls you and therefore the body kind of you know there's aches and pain and maybe sometimes you feel like you are tired because you think too much try at that moment um as much as you can uh try to like take a deep breath and be as stoic as you can like be as um logical as you can okay this is your mind stop i need to do this this and this i have uh i don't know i have a uh, an hour uh before going to bed and i can do many things instead of thinking for one hour or instead of spending one hour i don't know like on tiktok i can actually do things and it's like try to take it like little by little um and like to Uh, yeah be stoic for the next three weeks also um if family or there's something about family here so i don't know if your family are discouraging you or there's a situation with a family um try to put like some boundaries with them and i think it's if there is nothing with family then it's this little message is not for you um but i'm seeing either put boundaries with them from whatever they are saying to you and try to understand like you what do you want how do you feel about things how does your body feels about things right and try to listen to that um and for others it's like try to put some boundaries 
uh, between for you like a b boundaries about yourself with yourself um, if you have issues with um, like I don't know like spending too much time on the internet instead of doing things try to discipline yourself and that's some type of boundaries with yourself so that you don't get lost and you don't basically get controlled by uh, external things right um, yeah 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 that's what I'm seeing for you my water sign okay so I've been rambling for 20 minutes right now <laughs> um, I'll get the fairy oracle deck that's definitely a message for me <laughs> anyway so let's see water signs the oracles for the next three weeks i'll just take one card per um, oracle okay then i'll get the um angelarium oracle water sign Mm -mm. I'll get uh, I'll this one at the end. Anyway, the first two cards we have Keeper of Secrets, use your discernment, confide in tr a trusted friend, keep silent about knowledge. Okay, so there is um, whatever this project is, or anyway, um, keep it to yourself. Although it says confide in a trusted friend. I'm not sure about that. I don't feel good about that sentence uh, with the Keeper of Secrets. To me, it's like, uh, keep it to yourself. Unless it's like, I don't know. I mean, use your own intuition, but I feel like for most of you, keep it to yourself um, and try to like basically um, progress like uh, behind the scene. Basically, you need to work on it. Also, the girl has a key in her hand, so you definitely have everything you need. Uh, in order to achieve this and to finish this um, and uh, or start this and also with this butterfly here I mean I know she's a fairy but anyway the butterfly here it's oh wait oh my god look if you look at the girl the drawing here there's um, a spider web here uh, around her so yes it's definitely correlating with that reading which is telling me that you basically left this untouched for a long time to the point that there's cobweb like there's dust and whatever and the girl is holding the key like for for cobwebs cobwebs to uh, appear here like she needs to stay like immobile like um, not moving in any way shape or form to have these cobwebs so to so it definitely talks about you not touching this not um doing the next step and i feel like these little butterflies here are your spirit guides or your ancestors who are trying to push you and telling you like hey you can do it like we are butterflies like small little butterflies yet you are a huge like fairy like you are a big fairy you have bigger wings and you hold the keys in your hand you can do it definitely uh, and the use your discernment is definitely talking about uh, kind of being stoic. So yeah, like uh, try to be as stoic as you can. Then we have Chokma, um, right eye wisdom. Okay, I'm gonna have to read from the book for this one. Just let's check. What's the name Chokma? Because I'm not used uh, with this. Uh, with these um, angel cards I'm not familiar with them but I've been learning from it <laughs> recently so yeah where is it um, mm -mm -mm. the fuck oh come on where is it it's not even in alphabetical order so it's kind of a pain to look for the one Mm -mm -mm. Come on, where is it? Am I blind? 
No way, it doesn't. <laughs> what? Oh, well, oh, okay, I found it. Um, the second emanation, a vessel to hold that which is most precious, the first gate out of potentially and the step into the realm of the known. Chokma is the first moment of a, a, a newborn child open its eye. Um, that child's first step and first word. He is the beginning of a lifelong journey whose path disappears over the horizon, where ki Keter is the pen that l hovers over the page. Chokma is the moment of contact. From nothingness, wisdom is formed. Um, to have insight into uh, that which is not known is a gift that is not bestowed lightly. Um, the gray all breaks the surface of our consciousness. Descending from the summit of the tree, we see its duality begin to form. Chakma sits atop the pile of, of mercy, forming the first masculine aspect of the diagram. Its partner, Bina, opens next to reveal those two eyes through which we see the world found in birth intuition the subconscious okay so it's basically talking about like new beginning whatever um intuition like first step not knowing whatever is happening but still doing it and that everything will unfold um the right way like you'll be guided through it um okay so uh, next i'll pull out these cards which is a uh, indie deck. It's called the Old Ways Magic Oracle. I actually did a um, video on it, so if you want to see all the cards, it's on my uh, playlist, uh, new playlist deck review. So let's see, what card for my water signs? It's very slippery. Freedom. Okay, so definitely. So this card is about you finally uh, freeing yourself from your old patterns. There is a need for you to basically uh, finally take the rein. Like you can do it basically. Um, this image is kind of... Uh, I forgot what this was. Hmm it's giving me basically you have the the power to basically create and manifest uh whatever you wish for everything is back behind with you um you just need to go for it but let me also check in the little booklet so that we can actually um see what it meant Seriously, I can't find these cars today. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Freedom, where are you? I got transform. Ah, there you go. Horse of freedom and independence travels across time and space. Welcome. Walk free and unhindered in and in harmony with others and the land. Warning, carrying too much baggage weighed down and weary on stony path. Wisdom, to horse I ask, guide me to run free and unfettered. Nice. So I'll just pull out one uh, Kali Oracle card for you and we'll call it a day. So, message for my water sign before my phone is actually overheating. Perfect. Oh wait, I have a... this is a horrible drawing, I'll just put it like this. <laughs> anyway, we got this picture. Love it. Um, we may yearn for circumstances to unfold according to our personal preferences. Yet to trust in divine timing, alleviate stress, and foster a peaceful relationship with the universe. 
even the right thing cannot attain fruition at the wrong time. A negative cycle is due to end and a new dawn shall arise. Oh my god, this is just... This goes so perfectly with this reading. I hope you liked it. Um, don't forget to check your others uh, placement if you have them. Uh, don't forget I do offer private readings, all the information are down below. And uh, don't forget to follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and here on YouTube. Also give me a like because that helps a lot. Even just a heart in the comments helps a lot with my channel. Um, and just know that I only have one account per social media. So yeah, that's everything is the, in the description down below. And I hope I'll see you next time. Bye!